Greetings, everybody. A gun lawyer here from Munitions Law Group. Check us out at munitionsgroup.com. We have offices in Atlanta, Georgia, as well as Columbus, Ohio. My law partner, Clay Cheshire, is down there right now weathering a hurricane. I don't know when this video is actually going to be launched. It may be a month after that hurricane, but if you guys recall, Hurricane Irma is pounding through that area right now, and um, he's lost electricity, but he's alive and well. So don't worry. We're going to keep fighting the good fight. Uh, coming to you today with a general question from a, a viewer about how do felons get their rights back? I want to start out by prefacing this is really my ballywick. I really enjoy this. I just orally argued an issue regarding this in front of the Sixth Circuit Court of Appeals down in Cincinnati, Ohio. Hopeful that that case, if, if we lose, hopefully we win, of course, uh, we get an argument from the U.S. Supreme Court maybe. We never know. Um, this is a very complicated question. It, it, it's very fact intensive. It's something that I've taught in the national level on multiple occasions. Uh, at the NRA convention uh, and in various locations. I've taught in Nashville, I've taught in Louisville on this issue. And uh, I've taught many, many other attorneys about this. It's something that's taken me years to master. But with that said, I'll try to give you guys some basic information. The first thing to remember is it depends on where the conviction happened. Um, depends on the state, depends on the court. Uh, if it happened in federal court, I'm just gonna be upfront with you. You're not shit out of luck, but you're pretty close. Um, there's not a lot of remedy at the federal level other than pardon. There is a law actually on the books that says you can apply to the attorney general uh, to, to seek your gun rights back based on character evidence and things of that nature. I believe that is codified at 18 U.S.C. I want to say 925C. Uh, that, however, has been defunded and has been for, for years by the anti-gun Democrats um, every year in the budget bill. They don't provide money for those applications to be heard is what it comes down to. And the courts have routinely held that that is, in fact, constitutional. There has been movement to try and fund that, and even, in fact, as recent as the uh, national background check law that President Obama tried to get passed, I believe there was a provision to fund that, that uh, process in there, believe it or not. So, obviously, as we know, that law did not pass. So, currently, there is no uh, direct federal remedy. There is things we can do, though. Please call us. We can help you. We can try things. Um, but it is a long haul on the federal level. Now, let's talk about state. It depends on the state. Each state is completely, completely different. I am very blessed to be in a state that's very classically liberal uh, gun rights restoration laws. What that means is that there's a clear path to get your gun rights back in Ohio. Uh, we can make simply an application in your county with the courts and put on some character evidence and potentially get those gun rights back. Now, obviously, it depends on the nature of the conviction. If it's a misdemeanor crime of domestic violence, things get exponentially harder. Yes, you heard me right. If I actually was convicted of a misdemeanor, it's actually harder for me to get my gun rights back in Ohio than a felony. Um, so theoretically, you could think, well, you know, if I had just been a little bit more mean and had a little bit more of egregious of a crime, I'd have a better road to hoe to get my gun rights back. That is absolutely correct. That's how the law unfortunately works presently. Um, the state of Ohio actually doesn't take away gun rights for misdemeanors at all. It's the federal government. Uh, and we have to use state law, though, to effectuate a federal resolution. Just call me, I'll give you more information based on your facts and circumstances. Um, it's a really interesting area of the law. There are things we can do for you. That's what you need to take away from this video. It's not something you should do on your own. Uh, you can make matters a lot worse. So please give us a call, munitionsgroup.com. You can, you can give us a call instead of a consultation, 614-326-1919 is the Columbus office. As always, remember, be safe out there, continue to watch us, and carry on.